Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to unbox the X96 Max Plus. As you can see this is a bigger smart box than we used to see from the X96. So let's go ahead and see what we got from this device. We have 4GB of RAM and 32GB of RAM in the X96 Max Plus. As you can see it's all wrapped up for protection. Also underneath we have the power brick. HDMI cable, controller and the user manual as usual in the smart boxes packages. You can see the HDMI cable all wrapped up. We have the controller as well. Not too many buttons but perfectly in good shape and we have the user manual here with all the instructions that are needed to know about the smart box how to connect it and how the controller buttons work you can see everything is explained without any problem we have here all explained in the user manual as you can see we already hooked up the x96 max plus it's powering on let's wait You can see the slideshow and now it's open. You can see in the first page we have quite a few apps. We don't have like just a regular theme going in the first page but we have all the apps right here. You can see we have the uh, voice search in the left top. We have time and Wi-Fi. Down we have the settings and the menu. In the top as you can see you can select more apps that you want to open up faster. This is, this is a good option in these smart boxes. So you don't have to go in the menu and search about this particular app. In the bottom here as you can see you have quite a few apps as well. We download some of them but some of them, most of them are downloaded from the factory or by default you can see right here we have the Wi-Fi and it's very easy to connect it we have the settings you can see right here as you can see these settings are pretty much regular as we saw in before Androids you have all the apps here that are installed you can control by here for stop clear data of the apps or maybe uninstall any apps you can do it right here let's get back to the device performance about you can read about your device right here we are going to go through these devices real quick so we don't have too much problem with these devices these options are very similar with other Android, so we're going to go through them real quick as I said. You have here your owner settings, device name, Android version and all these kind of stuff. We have restart option here, status right here there. Next we have the model, you can see the version, Android version, model of the smart box, date and time, you can control the date and time right here, automatic or manual. You have your languages, in case you want to change the language. Next we have keyboard and autofill. Next we have sound, you can control sound and other things. We have storage, if you want to check your storage, what you've been uh, using. We have the screen saver as we show you always. This is a very good thing to go ahead and check it out. You have plenty of options in the screen saver option we are here. Next we have location, you can turn it on and off. It doesn't matter, we have install unknown apps. Security and accessibility is all right down there. You have your captions right here if you want to turn them on and read the text. You can see how it looks. So as I said, 
you go through these options one by one for yourself so you can customize all your preference you have your accessibilities right there as you saw the reset button right here so these are pretty much the settings also not to forget to mention the display settings these are very important you can pos you can move the positioning of the screen as you saw zoom in or zoom out also you have left and right the color correctioning you can change the color and other things without any problem all the options are right here so you go you can go ahead and customize them you have your picture modes as well and here is the settings in general you have network you can see right here so all the options that we saw before here we can see in more details maybe more bigger screen we have the apps display storage you can see here what storage how many storage did you use you have your accounts here next we have Google the this is just for Google options backups and so on we have here the system you can see all the details about the system are right here all their options your system is up to date it says because we don't have any updates yet we have now here all the apps that are installed this is the ADA64 this app you probably know if you watch our videos in this app you will find all the information about this particular device we have the system information we have other information like CPU display as you can see right here we have network battery Android device thermal sensors app and so on and so on as you can see in the left side you can choose your particular thing to see or to watch in this uh, app you can see that we saw the system and CPU which is very important to know about your device you have your display information now we are at the device information so these are general we have the thermal here you can see all the Celsius going or the temperature we have apps here that use it so that's pretty much it we have another device or app that has the same purpose this is the root check so this does the same thing as the ADA64 but less information these are just the main information for your device you can see all the details right here we have information about the apps and the CPU the display and the graphics and so on back at the menu we are right here this is the app that we use sometimes to download stuff we use this one Google Play and Aptoy we're going to show you all of these so in this one you can download stuff real fast and it works perfectly in some states for example Google Play doesn't work so good some apps doesn't show in the Play Store so you can use these types of apps to download stuff in them we have Play Store as I said just open up your Gmail and you are ready to use the Play Store you can see all the apps as Instagram, WhatsApp, Messenger and all of these. You can download them without any problem in the smart box. Back at the menu. We have then two tabs as you can see in the top. We have the air screen. So we downloaded some apps that we use sometimes in case you want to download these you can go ahead and download them 
in the Play Store or and the APK Pure or Aptoid. Now we are at the Antutu app. Let's give it a test, see how this will perform. We're going to fast the to speed the video a little bit. So we know what we have here we can see what Antutu app is testing but also we don't want to bore you these are just a few tests from the Antutu app these test the CPU as well as the screen or display and uh, sometimes the temperature and these smart boxes go way above the normal when the Tutu app is done. So let's just sit down, wait and see this task being done. Be patient, real soon this will be all done. 58% It's still testing. 60% now. 62 it's going real good we have 66 percent now 68 still testing 70 Still testing at 70. And the 70% is taking a little bit. Seventy two per cent now, seventy four, it's going now. We can see seventy six, seventy eight, it's going real fast now. We have more tasks being done here uh, from the Antutu. Ninety two per cent, ninety nine per cent, it's almost done. And as you can see, the test has been stopped. We have the number here, we have the results, we can see the results of each individual task that Van Tutu did. The X96 Max Plus did really good job here in the Tutu app. You can see all the results here. These are just the results from the Tutu app. All kinds of tasks being done. We have different tasks here in the bottom of the page. These are just some screen coloring display tests. You can see the changing of the color in the screen. So yeah, that's pretty much it from the Tutu app. Let's get back to the menu. We have the Google Chrome that we always show you that it works in the small box you can see how fast it opens it works really good and other thing 
we have any problem at all. We have here the options to check for updates. It's still checking. I don't think we have any updates yet, but it's worth to check. We can see the current version here in the bottom. The research it's done. Now we have here file browser and the files for the TV. As you can see all the files are here in case we need to see something or to search for something. So we have plenty of apps that we need to show you starting from this, the LiveNet TV, this is the app that we use always in our smart boxes. In this app you will find different channels starting from news, sports, TV shows, movies, kids channels and actually this apps. This app is pretty good because you have channels in different languages selected. You can see starting from German, for example French and English or different languages you have everything collected for each individual language so that is a pretty good thing and I like this app well, that's why I always test it in my smart boxes you can see everything is corrected let's try to play one of this Channel. You can see they are working really good. We have the news here or a show, whatever this is, it's working pretty good. So we have again a an app for channels. You can see news, movies, TV shows, children, and all kinds of channels. As you can see, we have sports as well. All kinds of sports. Unfortunately, we have to skip the channels for sport because of the copyright. It will give us a strike. We can't play sports in our videos. Here is a little movie trailer to see that how it works. You can see it started not immediately, but you have to wait a little bit to start, but next it will play better. We have Netflix here as well, not forget to mention. You can just log in into Netflix and it will work perfectly. And the next and the last test that we will do is the YouTube with a 4K video. We always test our videos with 4K, 60fps. To see how the small box will perform. You can see right here the video starts immediately. We have a very good view of this video. Good quality. So that means that other videos that have lower quality it will work better. Even better than this. So I don't think we have anything else to sh see here or to add. So thank you very much for your time and support guys, if you find this video interesting hit the like button, subscribe our channel and we will see you in the next video with another smart box.